What's up everyone? Today's project is demo day for the fireplace. We are taking down the fireplace. A little bit of background, the house was built in 1988. The fireplace is original from back then. Why are we taking it down? Because it's kind of off center to the room. Um, it's not really attractive. The bricks kind of stick out and um, it's kind of too high for what we want. It's not safe for the kids anymore. So we're gonna take it down today. We're gonna learn what's behind it, what's underneath it, and kind of learn as we go. So um, leave some comments. Um, if you have suggestions or if you learn along with me, hit the like button and we'll go over prep, tools, demo itself, and then finally we'll review and see how it turns out. Here I'm just starting to start the prep, tape down from the ceiling down, trying to cover the whole area so that the brick dust does not get everywhere throughout the house. Um, as you'll see, uh, much more prep was needed. Um, I will show you as we go. I'm doing the same on the other side so we can close up the area here. The idea here is to protect the floors from falling bricks. Here I'm using really thin paper. Lesson learned to purchase thicker paper um, that could take the fall of the bricks and not scratch the floor. Also, as you'll see, I really advise to cover up more of the floor, or maybe even the entire floor, as a lot of um, bricks will fall far from just the foot of the fireplace. One of the main tools that I used was the 8M Corded SDS Plus Rotary Hammer. It's got two foot-pounds of torque, three modes of operation, which was useful, and it comes with a five-year warranty, which really helps. Along with this, I purchased two of the bits. One was a chisel and one was a bullpoint. It really gave me good power and these bits really helped um, in different scenarios. So here we go. In the beginning, I just went for it, not knowing what to do and what to expect. So the first few bricks came up really easily. Um, I started with the chisel bit, uh, which seemed obvious because it had a flat head. And I thought I could hit the motor in between really easily. But uh, it turned out that bullpoint was more useful. Here I'm using the sledgehammer, but the bricks were breaking in half. So it wasn't that useful. Here's what I found after pulling three bricks off and that there were several brackets along the way that would hold the bricks in place vertically and horizontally. This is where I switched to the bullpoint bit in the front and as you can see movement got a lot faster and I could get the bricks out faster too. And here is what it looks like after the first layer of bricks were out. I wanted to show you realistically the mess that it makes. Um, the amount of prep that I did was not enough. So it created a lot of mess near and far, a lot and a lot of dust. So um, over preparation is not enough, I would say. And also wanted to share the brackets and show you again, there were several brackets throughout this build.
Here's what it looks like when the top layer of bricks were taken out. There's a metal bracket, the black one as you can see, that was holding the weight and holding everything in place. And that was easy to remove, it was really heavy but um, it held everything together. And uh, these are the bricks that I put outside in a bin and into boxes. So far this is what came out of it. Alright guys, end of day one, this is what we've done. <clears throat> I've got most of the bricks done, removed, uh, it's getting dark outside as you can see. Um, did pretty good today, got better and uh, worked better with the tools as the day progressed. But it uh, took overall about five to six hours. And I uh, put everything down to the base. So day two tomorrow we'll work on the base and uh, see how it goes. Um, could have done better with the protection on the floor. It ripped a few times. So we'll learn from this and tomorrow we'll do better. So overall I think not a bad job for day one. Um, pretty simple, straightforward so far, no issues. Fingers crossed. We'll take it from here tomorrow. I also want to show you the mess from the dust and from the motor and the bricks. It's all over. Not just the floor, but the um, plastics too. And Day two, I just jumped right into it. Started on the bottom and as you can see here got halfway done already in no time. Um, it was much easier removing bricks um, as I was drilling downward. The bricks came apart, there was no brackets holding them together. It revealed a wooden box, a wooden framing on the bottom and uh, here's what it looks like. Here's the close up of the wooden box. It's a really thick wood and uh, I've got all the bricks off. So next step is to tackle to remove this wooden box and see what's underneath it. Um, my main goal is to remove everything here so we can have a flush fireplace to the wall without any base to it. All right, so everything is removed here to reveal the underflooring underneath that wooden box that we saw. And uh, here's what it finally looks like. Here's the outside. Um, all the bricks were piled in trash bags, um, bricks on bricks itself, in garbage bins. And this is the mess outside. 
here's what it looks like at the end of the day two demo the bricks create a lot a lot of dust i want to touch on safety as well but here is what it looks like at the end of demo days important lessons learned um, the bullhead hammer bit was the best i didn't really need the chisel um, protect your floors more more preparation and please 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 invest in a proper respirator